blue jacket with the lighter sleeves just shaded now by Bacchanal. Bacchanal is the early leader from uh, Dino's Bino, Boss Doyle. On the near side is the mayor catch ball. And then Native Emperor in behind these as they race towards their first flight, the first in the of the uh, 12 flights in all here. Brother Joe held up towards the back in the pinkish cap with the white sleeves, the grey Rostropovich on his inside in the red and yellow, and another grey Garuth wider out in a noseband. Making the turn left-handed out of the back straight. And Dino's Bino under a little bit of restraint today from Tony McCoy in these early stages. As Alistair highlighted earlier, it's not been the greatest start of the day for the champion jockey. And a couple of falls, but uh, he was able to walk away from both of them. And it's Bacchanal that leads in the hands of Mick Fitzgerald. He'll be riding Marlborough in just over half an hour's time in the big race. Boss Doyle is second. Dino's Bino on the inside then of Catchball, followed by Garuth Wide of Native Emperor and the back pair Rostropovich and finally Brother Joe. Approaching the line of four flights of hurdles up the straight. Bacchanal takes this in front. Past winner on this day of the Jerry Fielden hurdle, Bacchanal having his preparation today for another tilt at the King George VI chase at Captain on Boxing Day, which I hope you'll be able to join us to watch. He ran very well in it last year, Bacchanal, third there. I'm Florida Pearl and best mate, and certainly be taking on best mate again at Kempton. Still leads to Boss Doyle with Dino's Bino on the inside, catch ball in fourth native emperor, Rostropovich, brother Joe, and Garuth. This is the fifth flight, the one in front of the pack stands here, with just over a circuit to go. Bacchanal over first from Dino's Bino on the inside, and then Boss Doyle behind these, followed by Native Emperor, catch ball on the outside of Rostropovich, the very light grey Rostropovich who kept very good company on the flat, a switch to timber topping, and uh, out the back brother Joe is the back marker and one from last is Garuth. They turn away left-handed to the far side. Connections of Bacchanal clearly intent that he should uh, have a proper workout here. As he leads the way into the back straight, he runs Newbury very well, likes the course, leads to Dino's Bino, then Boss Doyle and Native Emperor. As they approach the first in the back straight, followed by Catchball Rostropovich, two or three lengths to Brother Joe, and finally Garuth. At the next, and Dino Bino jumps up well there on the inside of Bacchanal, followed by Native Emperor and Boss Doyle and Rostropovich getting a bit closer. Brother Joe under a quiet ride from Paul Carberry, and then Catchball on the outside, and very wide is Garuth racing apart from the others. Over flight number seven, the leaders jump it cleanly. Boys, the car's yet to be re really played here. No, they've just got a nice steady gallop. Um, Bacchanal's jumped just out to his right all the time, but seems in a good rhythm. Tony McCoy just beginning to niggle on Dino's Bino. But Brother Joe's made two minor mistakes. The last hurdle there, and the second, just wants to stay in touch uh, and brush it up in the straight. Brother Joe can uh, quicken up smartly at the end of the race. The five turn of foot in the meanwhile, back and out taken. And there, Brother Joe again, uh, rather clumsy on the inside in about sixth place. As Jim was mentioning, he just needs to sharp, sharpen up his jumping. But meanwhile, up ahead, it's back and out. He's got a very honest style of racing. Back and out carries his head nice and low. But uh, as in the past, over fences, just tends to jump out to the right slightly. Dino's Bino on his inside. Followed by Bostol wide of Native Emperor now being pushed along. Rostropovich is still going okay. Then Brother Joe and Catchball as they run down the side of the course towards the home turn. The one that's detached is Garuth and these two leaders getting away slightly here. And Bacchanal from Dino's Bino on turning in. They're a good six lengths clear all of a sudden. 
from Boss Doyle in third, and then Native Emperor and Brother Joe has got a, a big task now from there. They head down towards the fourth last. Bacchanal and Dino's Bino. Bacchanal again jumps slightly to the right, but he's powering on in front of Dino's Bino. Native Emperor, Boss Doyle and Brother Joe, a good ten lengths back. Here's the third last. Bacchanal, he just saves himself slightly at each flight, just jigs away to the right, but it's not stopping him here. Dino's Bino is driven hard in second and now switched to the outside for a possible another another challenge as they jump the second last again back and L jinked over but he's still pulling clear of Dino's Bino native emperor then brother Joe boss Doyle and Rostropovich racing for the final flight then and back and L on this his first run of the season has made all the running so far but both native emperor and Dino's Bino are trying to challenge in second and third back and L jumped the last six or eight legs clear he's shown so no sign of stopping here native emperor stays on into second then Dino's Bino back in third and a fine comeback here for Bacchanal who head to Kempton for the King George with a win under his belt Bacchanal is the winner from Native Emperor in second third Dino's Bino then came boss Doyle Rostropovich brother Joe a disappointment a gap to Garuth and finally catch ball Bacchanal at seven to two a thoroughly encouraging return to action here for this smart chaser, third in the King George last season. High class form over the larger obstacles. And he'll go to King George with connections, confidence higher here. Lady Lloyd Webber's colours carried to victory on her birthday aboard possibly her favourite horse. Nicky Henderson, the trainer, runs Marlborough in the next. Mick Fitzgerald will be riding in that as well. Well, Connections have long made up this horse set. He's a very stuffy individual and he needs his first run. But as Jim, you pointed out, Jim, he's, he's got a great first time out record and he's such an honest style of horse, as Simon was saying. And he, in the end, he's outclassed them, really. Yeah, he has. I mean, he was getting weight from Brother Joe and you, you've got to remember that uh, he's a former Stayers Hurdle winner. But big kiss from Nicky Henderson, I'm sure, from the owner. It's her 40th birthday. What a present.